Hello to my favorite people on the planet. How's it going, guys? This is the heaps.io tutorial series, and it's been it's been a while since the last time I used heaps.io, and I don't have it on my computer right now, obviously. And I'm searching it uh, straight straight up how to install heaps.io, and I'm gonna uh, download the Windows 32-bit installer. Okay, quick note over here. Uh, I'm downloading the version number 3.4.2. You should download the latest version that exists out there right now. Uh, the version difference doesn't really matter for our applications, which is hello world right now. So download the 64-bit version of the latest installer out there. Um, you should be fine. Yeah. If you're on Mac or Linux, just install the appropriate thing. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code for my for my coding environment. Over here on the left side, I'm gonna click on the extensions and I'm gonna search hacks for installing the hacks extension pack. I'm gonna install hacks extension pack. We have some additional setups too. Um, heaps IO that's hash link we have to install hash link we're gonna just come down here and we're gonna download hash link this is hash link gonna open my, my file explorer go to C hex toolkit um, and I'm gonna just bring this in here and copy the path to it then I'm gonna open up my start search environment and this comes up edit edit the system environment val variables I'm gonna add an environment variable I'm gonna add to the already existing environment environment variable called path here I open up path, I click on new, I paste the location to that hash, hash link thing. Click OK, click OK over here, and I type HL. Ah, I have to close the CMD and, and open it up again. Now when we type HL, we don't get that no command found thing. So what you need when you create a hex project, when you create, yeah, hex project, you need a compile file. So we'll click new file. We'll call it compile.xhxml. This is a hex compile file. You see the icon immediately transferring into hex icon. After creating this compile.xhxml file, we need to type some specific things to uh, make the compiler work. First thing is to specify the library that we use. It's the heaps library since we are making a heaps.io game. And after that, specify the language and the output of the hex. We're gonna we want to turn the hex application to a JavaScript hex application. So called hello.js. This is this is the output output file a specification after that we want to specify the main main hex file that compiles into hello.js so the hex library the heaps library goes um, into this main file which we'll call it main just main uh, finds the main file and compiles it using the lib library of hips into hello.js javascript.js and we want to specify that we are in debug mode so it's nothing too serious we're just missing ground and after that I'm gonna just create a new file um, and it's main that that hx which is a hex file so this main is this main okay the main class of our application has to extend the hxd.app class 
because it's an app that we're developing. So, yeah, there is that. And after that, we want to overwrite the initialization function. And we want to add a static function called main. And the main function, this is a static, okay? The main function, we make a new main class, which is this here. And in the main class, on initialization, it calls this function that we're overriding here. In, in this function, we create a, a text, a 2D text, by doing this. Variable tf is equal to new h2d dot text and this function um, receives two inputs one being hxd dot ris the default font dot get um, and the second one being s2d I'm gonna explain these two things to you um, the first thing is the font of this text that we're creating and the second thing is the scene that this text is gonna be shown in so we get the default the default font from the hex library and we say this is the default 2d scene so the default font font into default 2d scene and after that we're gonna say tf.text is equal to equals to hello world just like that and we're gonna save everything up okay first of all since we're using the visual studio code we have to make a new um, build task okay to to compile our application, we go to Terminal, Configure Default Build Task, and click on Active Configuration Hacks File. It automatically, automatically creates this tasks.json file, and yeah, that's how, how Visual Studio knows what to do to build our application. Um, but bef before compiling, we we have to actually install um, so hips. So, this is how you install it. We open up a terminal. You can open a terminal in Visual Studio Code. And we type hex, hexlib, install heaps. And we just wait for it to install. Okay. Now, now that it's done, I'm gonna restore my Visual Studio Code. And I'm gonna just run. Um, run the build test that we made earlier okay it worked now we have two new files over here um, hello.js hello.js map and uh, we, we can't just open up this uh, mess without without adding adding any new files so we have to add a new file index that HTML to view our new app in, in our browser. So what we do here in our HTML file, we copy this thing over here. I'll leave it in the descriptions down below so you can copy it very easily. Um, if that's pretty much everything you have to do over right here. Um, after that, you just at the place the project is located in reveal file, file explorer and you can just open up this application yeah so this is the text yay we did it with we printed hello world so yeah with our our hips the io application and our hacks and everything is now installed everything's working fine and yeah, in, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and review my ECS um, entity component system that I wrote 
which is the base of any game engine that is out there nowadays and see how we can use that so yeah um, keep up the good works and just have fun with your life till the next episode arrives so yeah that's it goodbye